everybody. Welcome to our Friday forecast. Uh, today, actually, I have a guest with us. Or actually, he's just part of our wider church family, Dr. Peter Reed. Dr. Peter Reed is our executive minister of our Convention of Atlantic Baptist Churches. And uh, he just wanted to bring some greetings to us as we think about what it means to work together um, throughout this Atlantic region as Baptist churches. Hi, Dave. I really appreciate the, the, just the privilege of being here and also to say to Journey Church, thanks. Uh, thank you for the partnership that we have together. And I was really excited to hear that uh, you're going to actually include the CABC as part of your Christmas offering. And we're very excited about that privilege of working with you and seeing the wider work that we do together in Atlantic Canada. So again, thanks a lot and greetings to Journey Church. Thanks, Peter. Well, as we uh, look, I've been just talking about our Christmas offering, uh, just please pay attention to our communications around that as we look forward to December 13th and 14th on that weekend, where we're really uh, looking forward to seeing how we can be generous during this Christmas season. You know, as I'm thinking about what's looking ahead for us, I just want to really quickly just highlight a couple of things that, again, just took place in the last few weekends here through the month of November. Of course, we had our really exciting ordination service with uh, Pastor Carolyn Steves. We had hundreds of people out. Um, and it just had, again, that impact of us as a church saying, look at that. Someone who journeyed and figured out their call in their life and their ministry, they started off in a variety of different situations in our church throughout the years. And as they continue to follow their call, look at this. Uh, God has brought them to this place. Uh, again, I just can't help but ask myself, you know, what does God want to do in your life? And are you willing to imagine with him? You know, again, uh, though, it, last weekend, uh, we also had our Mike Gartner, our Hockey Night in Moncton event with this Hockey Hall of Famer. And I just want to say again, it was um, an exciting time. Uh, we had um, new people here, people from the, I want to call the hockey world of Greater Moncton. Um, and we had not only um, made contact, so to speak, but also um, Mike in his presentation, especially on Friday night, uh, shared the gospel and shared what it meant to be a Christian. And we actually had people indicate that they wanted to know more about that and wanting to take a step towards that. And in fact, we had about 24 people make an indication of that. And that's just, wow. I just want to say thank you, God, for that opportunity. And thank you all for those who prayed for it, supported it. And as we continue to think about how do we reach out and have that outward focus. Well, now, as we um, look specifically ahead towards this weekend, uh, just a couple of things. One, we're coming to the end of our Bible Project series called Ephesians. And we're going to be looking at the last chapter of Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 6. I encourage you to read it. We're going to be specifically looking at this whole idea that in our faith walk, we are going to face spiritual battles and because of that, we have to know that God wants us to win. And he gives us the equipment, um, so to speak, to um, overcome and not to be defeated. So I want to uh, be talking about that this weekend in that passage as we bring that to a conclusion. Now, at the end of this series, this weekend, um, next weekend, we're looking forward to the beginning of our Advent series. And Advent, for some of you who don't use that word often, it's just about as a church within our church calendar, these are the weeks that we use in preparation to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. And so as we look to the advent of the coming of the birth of the King, we um, want to make sure that throughout this um, season, it will be a time where as you join with us in weekend worship and other events, that you can focus on the joy and the hope and the peace and the love that the birth of Christ brings to all of us. Well, um, that's about all I can think of right now. Again, check us out on our Facebook page, our Twitter, um, check our web page, and these are ways that you can connect with us. Um, looking forward to seeing you this coming weekend. God bless.